Hey there everyone, in today's video we are going to create an e-commerce website with super easy steps and in this video we are going to use all the free resources out there available in the market, right? So first of all, if you want to create a website, you need to select a perfect, beautiful looking theme for your website, right? So theme is basically the structure and the layout of the website, how you going to present your website to the world, right? So in this video, we are going to use Astra free version, right? They also provide the uh, premium version, but in this video, we don't necessarily require that particular version. So we will just go with the free version. And trust me, free version also has a lot of uh, feasibility and customization option. And it is one of the fastest and lightweight theme out there in the market. Cool. So with the help of this theme, we are going to create an e-commerce website and the beauty part about this e-commerce website is going to be that it is going to be editable with elementor and if you don't know what is elementor so basically elementor is a page builder with the help of which you can easily uh, customize the whole page structure right so it is a drag and drop interface which you can easily manage even if you are a non-techy person right so let me guide you how you can do all these steps without much of a hassle on your brain right so first of all, you need to install a WordPress website on your domain, right? So as you can see, I have already installed WordPress on this domain. Okay. So once you have installed the domain uh, WordPress on your domain, you need to log into a dashboard. If you don't know how to log in, that's super simple. You just have to right click, uh, come here and click on your domain name and slash login, or you can just type here a WP admin, right? Once you uh, type that, then you will be asked for uh, enter the username and password which you have entered while you were installing WordPress on your cPanel, right? Those are the important credentials which you have to always save for the future purposes. Cool. So once you are logged in and you are here in the dashboard section, first of all, the first thing you have to do is to install the theme, right? So on the left hand side, you will see a lot of options like settings, tools, uh, username, password. So under the setting hood, you will find the general setting, reading, write and setting. So always come here. Uh, the first thing which you do when you install your WordPress, you come here and click on permalinks and always set uh, the structure of the URL to the post type. Let me show you. So as you can see, here are different types of structure, how you want your URL to be specified. So always check this option post name because this is always preferable best option for the SEO purposes, right? And scroll down and make the save changes. So this is one of the important setting which you have to do always whenever you install a WordPress website. Cool. So once you are done in uh, saving this setting under the tool section, you will find uh, import export tool. You can check your site health. You can just reset your uh, WordPress whole website this is an external plugin you don't have to uh, worry about this so under the plugin section you will see a lot of plugins right uh, so basically a plugin is some kind of functionality will help you to extend some kind of features on your website right if you want a form on your website then you need to install a certain kind of plugin in that like uh, contact 7 form that is a uh, particularly a plugin which help you to extend some kind of functionality on your wordpress website so that with the help of contact form a plugin, you will be able to make a simple, decent looking plugin, right? So we are going to use Elementor, which is going to cover a lot of things inside that. Cool. So let's change the theme of this website. Under the appearance hood, you will see themes. Right now, I have already activated the Astra theme, but let me show you how you can find the Astra theme. Come here, click on add new. And here, you will see WordPress provide by default a n numbers of free themes which are out there available. As you can see, there are almost 4000 free themes which has been provided by WordPress, right? So, but the thing is free theme has their own pros and cons, right? So I personally prefer if you have a little bit of money to invest, always go for the premium plugin premium theme, right? So for this video purpose, I will just go with the Astra one. Okay, come here and search for Astra. And as you can see, I have already installed this and activated. Once you are done with that, you will see this kind of all option, right? Thank you for installing Astra and get started. So once you click on get started, it will start, uh, it will show you this kind of interface and it is asking you to select one kind of page builder, right? So here are multiple page builder and we are specifically going to make this website with Elementor, right? So click on Elementor and this will take you to the next option where you can select a template, right? So if you're not even in this page, uh, let me show you how you can come to this page specifically. Cool. 
so right now there are two plugins install our website one is starter templates and one is wp reset this is not our use right now okay so under the appearance code you will find astra option come here and once you click here you will see all the settings related to astra and these are some specific uh, plugins which will be activated only if you buy their premium version right so right now we are not going to see the premium version we are going to install a demo template of specifically an e-commerce website on this particular domain right now this domain has nothing right uh, it's literally nothing right so we will click here on the c library option okay so once you click on that you will see there are n numbers of template provided by astra for you just to uh, make your work done very quick manner right so come here select all and what kind of template do you want do you want a blog template business or e-commerce let's go with the e-commerce and here you will see all types of e-commerce website which has been provided by astra so let's go with this one custom printing or plant shop uh, simply natural okay so if you want to visit the preview you can always click here visit preview and it will show you the exact preview how these uh, how this template is going to look on your domain right so if you want to import the whole website on your domain just click on import complete website or if you just want to import a specific page on your pages then you can import a specific page as well but i'll just try to import all the pages and make a complete website out of it cool and it is asking you to install the widget uh, required plugins import content yes just click on import and you can always skip this option right here and just wait for it it will take couple of minutes depending upon your internet speed and it will be imported successfully right just wait for it so as you can see the complete website has been imported on our domain so our next step is just to check what uh, this website is exactly looking on our domain click here visit site and let it load then you will come to know how this website is looking right as you can see the whole website has been imported successfully on our domain and all the pages of which a e-commerce website should have has been created as well as you can see there is a cart option if you click here then it will be redirected to a cart page right right now our cart is empty and if you click here on the store page then it will show all the products which are available on our website these are some little products which are available on our website uh, so basically an e-commerce website is a place where you can sell items right so here you can see on this website we are trying to sell some pots right so as you can see all the items are listed here on the store page now let's click on one item then you will tr uh, try to understand the concept of e-commerce i know most of the people know about it but still as you can see this is called a product page here you can add to cart this particular product right let's uh, add to cart and here now you can click on view cart then there will be one single item uh, in the cart this is the cart page as you can see in the url prefix and uh, this is the cart page and you can always apply for coupons if you generate that coupon in the back end and you have to proceed to the checkout option right now i'm pretty sure there is no payment uh setup for this website purposes as you can see sorry it seems there are not payment available methods no need to worry about that so this is a uh, very simple concept how you can create an e-commerce website with the help of astra theme in just 10 minutes right so if you want to add all those payment option on your uh, website you have to come back to the dashboard section refresh this page and now all the plugins must have been installed and the functionality with which the e-commerce thing works on wordpress is always provided by the woocommerce plugin right on the left hand side you will see woocommerce and here once you uh, try to come here and click on settings then here you have to play around with all this setting here you can add the payment option as well as you can see here is a payment option if you click on payment then it will ask you to add all these type of payment if you want to add direct bank transfer you can always click here if you want cod to be a checkout option then you can always select this and save changes now if somebody or a customer wants to pay for this item as a cash on delivery he can do that right uh, let's click on view card and then let's proceed to checkout 
then after that you can see there are two options bank transfer or cash on delivery if you click on cash on delivery there will be no payment method online available and here you just have to fill out your whole details and you can directly place the order sounds like an e-commerce thing right so coming back to the home page the main perspective of creating this website is that elementor because with the help of elementor things get way more easier to design on the user interface right this is the website which the customer going to see if you want to change any of this part you can de you can do it with super easy steps let me guide you click on this edit with elementor once the elementor is loaded completely then you will see this kind of interface and with the help of this kind of interface you will be able to edit each and every section because this is a drag and drop interface right let me show you if you go to the very end and if you want to add a text you can always add a text here right and if you want to change anything like hello world you can always do that right uh world spelling is always wrong but leave it for the video purpose and if you hit on uh, update button and go back to the website and try to refresh the page that hello world text will be added at the very bottom of the website right just go here and as you can see hello world has been added so it's super easy drag and drop interface and if you want to delete this just right click and delete or you can just delete the whole section sounds like a plan cool so if you want to add a video you can see there is a video widget you want to add a button you can add a button you want to add an image there is an image google map icon wordpress forms right and if you want to change the existing layout if you want to change the background image just click on the whole section right click or edit this section or you can always uh, click here edit this section and if you want to change the background image come to this style section and here is the image which is in the background you can select here uh, media library and these are the media which are uploaded on our website if you want this image to be the background or this image to be the background let's go with this image okay insert image and you can see this image has been changed update and previously on our website this was the background image of this particular section if you refresh this then you will see the background image has been changed so and if you want to change the text of this you can always do this um, all plans for just dollar 50 you can do any kind of settings and if you want to change the button option you can always change the color of this button text color to be black background color to be red and whenever somebody hovers to the button then what color do you want in the button you can always set that as well text color to be white and background color to be black if somebody hovers the text color change as you can see so these kind of functionality always get you easy and eye-catching things when it comes to e-commerce website right so these are some small widget you can always create them uh, just adding these kinds of elements here if you want to add a image box with some text you can always drag and drop here in this section and you can add a image a title and a paragraph related to that particular image right right now we don't need it and we will just hover here on the pencil icon and delete this one cool so now you understand the point why elementor is the best page builder out there because with the help of this you will be able to do anything throughout the website and this is also mobile responsive you can check the layout of the website on all three kind of devices desktop tablet and mobile right so this is the uh, website how it will look in mobile and this is mobile responsive as well isn't that great so i guess you uh, really get my point what i'm trying to explain here if you have any kind of doubts uh, do let me know in the comment section and i guess that's all for this video and i will catch you in the next one